morning, my friends. Today is Monday, May 30th. It is Monday of the seventh week of Easter. Happy Memorial Day to you and your families today. Also a shout out to a friend, Bishop uh, James Connolly in the Diocese of Lincoln, Nebraska on your 14th uh, anniversary of your Episcopal ordination. So happy anniversary, Bishop Connolly. And also a little advertisement. We have our Mike Sweeney Catholic baseball and softball camp. July 25th and 26th in the Diocese of Joliet. You can get more information at catholicsportscamps.org. Today I'd like to talk about the virtue of courage. Today I've got behind me here a stained glass of St. John Vianney, who's one of my heroes. He's the patron saint of diocesan priests. And, you know, in the Gospel today we hear Jesus says, The hour is coming. Uh, when you're going to experience uh, challenges. He says, in, in the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. So they sent St. John Vianney to this little town of ours, thinking he wouldn't do much damage there because he struggled getting through seminary. Um, and he had a lot of challenges, but through prayer, through growing in holiness, he not only turned the town around, but people started coming from all over the world to go to confession to him, to get spiritual counsel from him. And so he was somebody who allowed the Holy Spirit to completely transform his own life and then the lives of thousands and thousands of other people. And that's what the Holy Spirit can do in and through me and you. We have in the first reading today, uh, St. Paul is traveling and he comes to Ephesus. And he asked them in Ephesus, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? And interestingly, they said, We've never heard of the Holy Spirit. So they had heard of the baptism of, of St. John, a baptism of repentance. And, and so what Paul did, uh, he had them baptized in the name of Jesus, you know, and probably the Trinitarian formula that we use today, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it said he laid his hands on, on them. Just like when the bishop comes for confirmation to our parishes, he does a prayer of consecration, um, invocation of the Holy Spirit and then he anoints them with the Holy Spirit and then says peace be with you it's you know we receive the Holy Spirit in our baptism and confirmation is kind of renewing that the power of the Holy Spirit within us and one of the the great gifts of the Holy Spirit is courage and, and wisdom it talks about here what happened with these uh, these people who were baptized by St. Paul it says for three months they debated boldly, they had courage, with persuasive arguments, they had wisdom about the kingdom of God. And so we're coming into times that are pretty crazy in our world. You know, not only do we see what's happening in between Russia and Ukraine, but also politically and you know, within the church, there's, there's a lot of difficult things happening. And Jesus says, there's gonna be problems, you know? Um, you're going, to, you're going to face challenges, but the Holy Spirit be, will be with the church. The Holy Spirit will be with you. And he wants to give us all of the gifts of the Holy Spirit to transform our lives, to speak boldly, to, to take courage, and to not be afraid. We, we hear that message throughout this Easter season. Uh, with the, and in just six days from now, uh, we're going to be celebrating the great Feast of Pentecost the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples and upon us. Not only could they speak languages that they never studied, uh, they, they could heal people, um, they had this wisdom and courage that was beyond our, our own human understanding. And so let us take time to pray each day as we prepare for this Feast of Pentecost, you know, come Holy Spirit, fill me, transform me. Uh, I want to be the instrument that God you know, for God that, that he wants me to be. There may be times in our lives when we have to speak boldly as these early disciples did, that we need the wisdom of God um, that goes beyond our human wisdom. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the gift of your Holy Spirit. We, we ask you as we prepare for Pentecost Sunday for a transformation of our own hearts, transformation of our, our country, our world, that you continue to renew us, make us the people that you've called us to be.
give us the courage and wisdom and all the gifts of the Holy Spirit that, that you would have us uh, use to be your witnesses to the world. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And to you and to all your family, Buen Camino.